Tell you, Core Nation, we are back today. Protein French toast with a peanut butter lean glaze or a topping that I'm going to be putting on top. Uh, to cut right to the chase. Uh, a lot of people, again, asking about bread recipes like I just did the bread pudding. Another one of my favorites is French toast. What better way than adding in a core performance? I'm going to be using the molten chocolate today and a peanut butter lean glaze. So chocolate, peanut butter, two of my favorites. Let's get to work. Four slices of bread. Um, I buy my generic Wegmans brand. It's a Northeast chain grocery store up here in Pennsylvania. Buffalo originated in Buffalo. Um, not very expensive, but it's like a low calorie bread, so you can buy your Sara Lee's or anything else at a generic Walmart. Um, dry ingredient wise, one scoop of the core performance weigh about 34 to 35 grams worth. A dash of baking powder to help the final product rise. 16 grams of the extra fluffy complete pancake mix. This is about um, a sixth of a cup. Um, you know, you can use as much as you want. I just add a little bit in there to help with the overall final rise of the product when it's all said and done. It also allows for a better finished product. A little bit of Splendor to help with the flavoring. And that is all of my dry, which I have right in this little bowl here. Okay. What I have next is what I'm going to use for my glaze. And again, MyOatmeal.com, the link is in the comment box, check it out. You have 22 billion combinations of flavors you can use for oatmeal or PB Lean, which is a powdered peanut butter compared to like PB2. Um, I love this, Anthony gives you all the, the information as far as calories go, and also your flavor choices on the website. Mix and match, fantastic, check it out, okay? Wet ingredient wise, I'm gonna mix this all up into my magic bullet. Right here I have about a half a cup as you can see, of almond milk, about 100 grams worth. I'm going to add just a dash of vanilla extract, which you're going to see right here. Okay. And two egg whites, which I already have combined right here. Okay, so pretty simple, straightforward. What I'm going to do is add that, add my dry. While I am waiting, I have the griddle preheating right here, which I'm going to show you while I'm cooking um, in a bit on a medium heat. Whenever you cook something on a stove top, medium heat prevents burning, greater finished product. Okay, so I'm just going to simply put the rest of my dry in here, mix this up in my magic bullet, and I'm going to use a very shallow bowl so I can dip my bread and cook my French toast. All right, so with that said, um, you can see how easy Core Performance Way mixes. A lot of people comment, molten chocolate doesn't mix very good. Watch this. You see that? There is no debris within seven shakes. And now, there's not even a shaker cup in here. Now, if we throw it on a blender, problem solved. For all those that, do, that talk about the molten chocolate mixability, there's your forte. Now, we have our batter made, so I'm simply just gonna pour it right in this bowl. Okay. Now I'm going to cut the camera, move it over here so I can show you the cooking process of the French. First things first, we're going to take our cooking spray and coat down this pan, okay? Very simple. Next thing is you're going to take your bread, dip it in your French toast batter and place it on the pan, okay? So make sure you bring this close so that way you don't drip and make sure that you do soak it enough to make sure the whole piece of bread is submerged and allow it to cook. And it should be sizzling. If it's not sizzling, it's not hot enough. So jack it up. Okay. One more after this. Make sure you use as much of that batter as you can. All right. And here's the last one. So I'm going to make it really count here. If there's a little bit left over batter. Ah, so be it. It's only a couple calories. I'm not going to die. All righty. So now what I'm going to do is let this sit for about a minute or so, you're going to see it start to rise. When that happens, we're going to flip. Okay, my French toast, it looks like it's starting to bubble, just like when you cook a pancake. That means it's time to flip. So basically, get your spatula underneath very carefully. Use your finger as a guide and just flip it. Okay? Now, you shouldn't see any big epic fails with this. You know, just take your time. Make it nice and easy. Okay? It should slide because you use the cooking spray. Alright, okay, 
Mm. And I'm going to pull the camera over so you can see what you're looking for. Should be nice and golden brown. Okay. And what you're going to do is allow this to sit for about another minute so the other side cooks as you see here. And we're going to pull. Boom. As you can see, nice and golden brown, all stacked up. Our French toast is complete. Guys, the total amount of calories on this whole recipe, including the glaze, 500 calories, 50 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, 6 grams of fat. And again, if you need any of your Cellucor apparel, which I have on here, the new G4 series, or your core performance way, bcoop20 at cellucor.com. Let's finish it off, okay? Everything in the, in the comment box below includes the directions, the macronutrients, and instructions on this video. Now, for the glaze, I just took the PB Lean and just added enough water to make a very nice and thick like consistency, which you see here. All I do is I mix it up, and I'm just going to go back and forth on my finished product, okay? And that is going to be the glaze that we are looking for, okay? So it may get a little sloppy. You know, you may get some stuff all over the place, but, you know, that's the whole point. Just, just be di di directive. Um, and just show your, you know, your followers out there how to be creative and show some presentation with your final product. Alrighty, so that's what we're going to do. That's our finished product. Guys, enjoy the protein French toast, molten chocolate with a peanut butter lean glaze.